So we're going to get started right with this tutorial. We're going to start off by using a paint pot by MAC. This one is painterly and I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base. Next going into one of my all time favorite palettes. This is the chocolate bar palette by Too Faced. And the color I'm going to be using first is the color peanut butter. That is my favorite transition color to date. I really like this color. So I'm going to take this with a fluffy brush and apply it right to my transition area. In the same palette, the next color I'm going to be using is Truffle and I'm going to be applying this with a blending brush. This is the 217 brush by MAC. Now this is definitely an oldie but goodie. This is the NYX Jumbo Pencil and this is the black color. I'm going to be applying this as a eyeshadow base. I'm going to apply that right on top of the painterly and then I'm going to blend that out with a flat synthetic brush. As I always say, with every eyeshadow look, make sure you constantly blend. So I'm going back in with that 217 brush by MAC and I'm just going to blend those colors together and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeshadow color. Next I'm going to be using the color Licorice out of this palette and I'm going to apply that with the same flat synthetic brush. I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to apply this eyeshadow in a packing motion. I'm using that same blending brush and I'm going to take a little bit more of peanut butter and I'm just going to use that to help blend these two colors together. I do wipe this brush off in between applications but if you have more than one brush you're, you, know, you can use that as well but I was being lazy so wipe it off as we go. Next I'm going to take the color Butter Pecan and apply that as a highlight. It really doesn't show up too much in person but when you take flash photography you can definitely see the highlight underneath my eyebrows. The lashes I'm going to be using are from Coco Lashes. These are the Bella Lashes and I've used these lashes now about six times and as you can see they are still good. And I got these tweezers off of Amazon and they just helped me to blend the falsies with my natural lash so I love these things. I also can leave a link in the description box where you guys can find this. Now this next color is optional but because I was using this palette as my mirror this is the Vice 2 palette and I'm using the color Revolver and I'm just using that to smudge my lower lash line. Next I'm going to take some Fix Plus and just apply that to my face. My skin was a little bit dry for some reason. I typically don't have that problem but that did the trick. And next I'm going to go in with my Pore Professional by Benefit Cosmetics. I'm going to apply that and that helps to smooth out my skin and give me an even canvas. And then following that I'm going to use my favorite, favorite facial primer and that is by Becca Cosmetics. If you have oily skin or oily T-zone, this product is a must have. When I tell you I can use this and I have oil for like 12-14 hours, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm going to next use my black opal true color foundation I forgot I believe this is truly topaz that I'm using but I'm just going to take that with a BH cosmetic buffing brush and I'm going to apply that to the skin next using my LA girl pro concealer in the color fawn I'm going to use this as a highlight. It's going to be a very subtle highlight. And I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes, right on my forehead, and a little bit on my chin. I'm going to be blending all of this out with a wet beauty blender. I love beauty blenders for blending out highlighter and concealer and things like that. I just love it and it helps to get the excess product off of your skin as well. So it gives you a really flawless finish. I'm going to be using the Sheer Loose Powder by MAC to set my under eye highlight as well as all of the other areas that I applied my concealer.
contour, I always tend to pick up this same color even though now I have other colors I can use. This is Blunt by MAC and I'm going to be applying this very subtly on my high points of my cheekbones and I'm going to concentrate the color towards my ear and then blend out the excess product going towards my nose. I decided not to go with a blush for this tutorial. I decided to use a bronzer. I'm using a baked bronzer from Ulta and the color is called Radiant. I haven't used it in a while but I still love it just the same. I'm going to be applying that right in between my highlight and my contour on the highest point of my cheekbones. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Finish setting powder and I'm going to use a large flat brush and I'm just going to apply this powder to every area on my face that I did not apply setting powder for the highlight. Now this is definitely something new for me. I have started to contour the highest point of my nose and I know it looks a little bit strange now but I really do like the end result. Basically I'm taking that same contour color which was Blunt by MAC and I'm applying it with a little pencil brush and I'm just going to blend my life away to get that harsh line but it really gives me a lot of definition so I love it. Next I'm going to be using a new favorite of mine. This is the Butter London Eye Pencil and I'm going to be using this on my waterline and it's just going to smoke this entire eyeshadow look out. Also something new for me I am tight lining and I typically don't do this because I have really sensitive eyes but I do like this look and I think if you're going to be doing a smoky eye the darker the better. Also I'm using the Butter London Mascara and it's called Iconoclast and it is a mega volume mascara. This mascara is everything. Like I love it. If you see that brush, it separates the lashes so well and it's really, really, really good for my lower lash line. It really helps to separate and define the lashes without being very clumpy. <laughs> Next I'm taking a generic red lip pencil and I'm just going to line my lips so I can prepare for the lip color I'm going to be using today. And that color is also going to be by Butter London and it's called Lady Bird. One thing about this little pencil is so cute, it's like a lip crayon but it has its own sharpener to it that comes off, it's detachable which I thought was really cute. But the actual color is between a red and an orange so it's a very bright vibrant color and I really like it for the spring but then I also thought it had a classic red look to it so it really made this lip and eyeshadow look pop. Now this is the funniest part of this tutorial. Um, I was having a little breakout-ish thing happen on the face so I decided to take my Butter London Eye Pencil and fill in those little pimples and we're just going to call them sexy moles honey. I don't know but it worked for me. I thought it was cute. I thought it was funny actually but it worked so now on to hair. So here I am going to be using my Sapphire Wand by Irresistible Me and this is the 8-in-1 curling wand system and I'm going to be using barrel 25 millimeters that's the size of the actual barrel and I'm going to be curling all of the curls away from the face. Now I'm just concentrating the spiral curls in the front because everything else is going to be more of a messy bun so I want to kind of just have waves so I'm basically just going to finger comb the rest of my hair. This hair comb is also by Irresistible Me and I'm going to be using that for the updo. You're also going to need two bobby pins. So I'm going to do a soft, very soft, um, kind of like a side ponytail and I'm going to do a bun. I'm going to leave a couple pieces of hair out in the front. So this is going to be very loose, very sexy, not nothing too done up, very soft. So I'm going to gather all of the hair on one side of my head and I'm going to do a very soft twist making sure that I have a little bit of a fringe in the front and I'm just going to kind of create a really messy soft donut bun and then I'm going to start to place some of those hairpins in. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys would like any information on the curling wand and the hair comb I'm going to be using, I have links in the description box. And I also have a promo code for you guys if you want to purchase that Sapphire wand. Trust me, it is worth every penny. And again, promo code equals coupon. So you can't pass that deal. So here I'm just going to be continuing to add those bobby pins. And I'm only using two because again, I want this to be a very soft look. So you don't want it too done up or too pinned up. And any excess pieces of hair you see, you can kind of just put them in a circle and tuck them under. And then here I'm going to show you how I'm going to apply the hair comb. The hair comb is also going to be used as a pin. So you're going to place it in, up, and down. And that's going to help to secure the comb without a lot of hair pins. And that is the finished look. So I'm going to just curl these last few strands of hair just to give it a looser wave. And that's it for this look. As always guys, all of the product information will be listed in the description box as well as a promo code for my curling wand and for the hair comb that I used here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys for getting to the end of this video. So I'm going to give you all of the contest details. I'm going to be giving away four items from Bunder London and actually three I use in this tutorial. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and you'll get all of the details on how to enter. So good luck and thanks for watching.